welcome to I Want Lashes TV, where you can be sure to learn the real his and her sexual style. So get your pens and paper out to take notes because we gonna light you up with tips and tricks you don't want to miss. Now here, and only on this show, we talk about what sex, 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 some more sex, a whole bunch of sex, a whole bunch, a whole bunch, a whole different lot. types of sex, different kinds of sex, stuff that leads to sex, after sex, all that, how you have sex, yeah, period sex. Yeah, sex. Not that kind of free book. Sex period. Sex, you yeah. you y'all know what I'm talking about. Period food. <laughs> yeah, why? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah, so and we also do love and relationship topics. We will also do different things that always pertain to sex. Okay. So yes, I am your host, ex adult star, exotic rapper. Um yeah, yeah. What a business owner! I'm everything that you can fucking think of. I am luscious kisses. Uh, hey, Charlie. Hey. hey. <laughs> what's going on, y'all? Uh, y'all know what's going on with me, Ricky Gambini. I am the live guard, <sighs> manager of Club Seduction. We've been doing great, doing all right. Uh, this weekend was, was pretty fun. Okay. There's a lot going on. Um, shout out to everybody that came through birthday parties and everything like that. I'm um, still modeling here and there. I got a gig this weekend, actually. It's going to be uh, something slick, something like limo and dreads. So I'm there. Um, let's get it going, man. Right now, Ain't nothing wrong with that. And while he's sitting there talking, I am sipping on some motherfucking porce. It's called porce. And I don't know what's the ingredient side of it, just to spice it up just a little bit. But I am drinking some pink porce. So, hey. I'm not Welcome to Album Lush TV. I'm not drinking, smoking, nothing. I don't. I just came from an event and I driving up here. I was like, oh yeah, boom, oh, there you go. All right, I don't need to touch nothing else. So what up though? And the funny thing about it is even before we get into the before we even get to the show, Listen. this motherfucker called me Listen. and tell me. Tell a story that in a real quick story, but just uh, quick, tell quick, them quick, what you was telling me. I just came from this event, right? My man pool party. Shouts out how we shout out James. Uh shouts out everybody out the way. I was in DC area, man. Um they had a party, Shorty had these edibles that look like, look like they look like the ones you get kids, the regular Rice Krispie Treats, uh, Captain Crunch, all that shit. So I was like, fuck, let me get that. You can't even look straight. So she put it on. I'm looking at Blob, looking at this one, at Blob, looking at that. I got it, kept it, looked at it, man, I ate the whole thing. Boom, tastes like nothing. It tastes not even, I don't say nasty, I'm saying like nothing. It's but like, I told him, I said, but well, why would you eat all that? You know that shit sneaks up on you. It ain't tastes like nothing. Three hours later, I'm dry. Smack me right in here, knock me off. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have did that. I'm mad at myself right now, but it's okay because I'm still here, I'm ready to do this show. Y'all about yes, to get some funny. Y'all, y'all about laughing me. I'm telling it's you right now. Eyes red as a motherfucker. You hear me? Then I was like, you, listen. Then I told his ass don't bring no COVID in this bitch. You understand? <laughs> like I mean, at the end of the day, we just shooting in my own private don't mad. Don't break. Hey, this motherfucker be out with no mask on. I got so, a mask. No, we don't. Every time I look at he be out partying and right. I've been working with our they don't wear masks. The whole environment had no masks. So you all see me keep waving like man. this shit because I don't want COVID to hit me in my face like boom. You got masks. You got masks. Put that mask on down there. It's over there. <laughs> right. He see how I even know what the name is. <laughs> he high as shit. Let so me tell you, his eyes were in his shit. Let me finger the whole night. All of them. What's all this? All of them. It's in the car though. Okay. Yeah. Do y'all hear where the mask is at, right? In the car, not on his face when he be at these events. I be looking like, oh my god. All right. Now, nah, what you say? He had booty all in his face. He had booty. <laughs> Corona booty. You're talking about all COVID all in the booty. Talking about the activities in my stories, man. Everybody. Was y'all talking. already know. They say that do not prevent COVID. Ain't nobody was not social distance at all. At all. At all. At all. I said. But we're strong people. I'm going mm-hmm. I'm to I'm pray for all of y'all. And if you bring this shit over here, I'm just like, you know it's going to be a issue. We are strong individuals. I can't wait to say it's I'll be spraying hard as shit with you. She's going to scrub this shit. She's going to Let me spray. Water. Let me bleach the fuck out. She's going to shampoo the water. Uh, I'm dead that serious. That's so my Pantene Pro V. Absolutely. That's so my herbal essences. I'd rather smell like some motherfucking disinfect spray to smell like all them COVID days. People, he just was at. I took a shower with any disinfectant. No shade. Mm-hmm. That shit don't go away in five minutes. I did all that. Yes. All that. 
Y'all need to start wearing. Y'all need listen today. Keep worried. If nobody else see nothing else, and this is the only thing I'm gonna talk about on the show, please wear a mask. Please wear a mask. I'm gonna start wearing masks around y'all motherfuckers. Not you, Dom. You ain't out in the public like that. This one, this one, and I got. Listen, I'm gonna hold that battle over here. You hear me? Already had COVID, and somebody who I thought was cool, but she's out in the public like that. I'm gonna have it on and the whole sick. show. Let's see the shit. The whole show. Yeah. Mask on. Yeah. Mask. Yeah. Mask. <laughs> anyway, mask. let's go ahead and get started because I'm even we gonna keep talking about him not having no mask because I'm always cussing his ass about. Well, he put a damn mask on. Yeah, so. I do know. I mean, because that means I care. That means I care, right? Put a mask on that motherfucker face. You all around these dirty ass people. People don't black people don't tell you when they sick. Hell no. They don't. That's what that girl ain't tell me she was sick. Sneezing and breathing and coughing all on me. And I the next day. No. Felt like that's the fan on too close. Fuck the whole fan and the AC. That's the worst. Why do you do that? It's like right here. You wake up. Yeah, right there. Air reflex on that shit. Like the fuck. Ooh, it's wrong with me. Anyway. <laughs> Back to the man. All right, so we just got through this little chit chat. This is a little something, something we was talking off camera. I just wanted y'all to know how this is exactly how. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And I, yeah. they show he high as shit. So I'm gonna be tripping off his ass the whole fucking night and fanning at the same time. Yeah, I'm about definitely. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and get started with tonight's topic. We are talking about being single. Ooh, being single. Being single. All right, what you mean being single? All right, well, let me let me get started. Come, come, you know how I am. All right, go ahead. You go ahead and finish fire. my question. Yeah, give me for you. Be, yeah, please don't, please don't shut your motherfucking ass the fuck up. I put you across this leg and beat your ass. And you too big for all that. I'm gonna fall on the floor. We both gonna fall. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna just like this. He gave him some water. Just like this. All right. Okay. So. Some people live their best life by being single, well, by living single. And some love being in a relationship. To be single is not a weakness or a weakness of being unable to find a relationship. It is a strength of having the patience to wait for the right one. Hmm. Never let yourself be um, confused about being single with being lonely. Don't ever let that happen. Because your happiness does not depend on your relationship status. Okay? Yeah, it should. All right. So, but as much as these people embrace being single, do you? Do I embrace being single? Yeah. Everybody should embrace when they're single because two things that happen when you're single. You're supposed to, well, by guidelines from a lot of other people, when you're single, you're supposed to know how you feel or what you think is necessary um, business-wise as far as employment or, you know, uh, your thought process. You can get yourself together in many other ways before you out of before you connect with somebody. Okay. So, do you like being single? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I don't like fucking being single. And let me tell you why. Loneliness is a bitch. Sometimes you get horny, you want to fuck. You want to masturbate all day long. Listen, I'm a masturbate queen. Y'all already know that. But I don't want to masturbate all the time. And then sometimes I'm about love and affection. I want to lay up, but you just can't lay up with anybody. You can't lay nobody just lay up in your bed. So, so, you're loving all in your pussy. So are you asking me, do I like being single? Do you or like do I want to keep being single? I said, do you like being single? I mean, who don't like being single? I don't like being single. But you got to be single for a moment to find the person I you mean, want to be in a relationship. I mean, yeah, I mean listen, I, I you know didn't. Saying, okay? Yeah. okay, so listen, right. I was never single. We had, okay, we talked about this on the show before. You gotta be single to connect. But with listen, what I'm saying, though. I mean, of course you gotta that's be friends. You gotta be friends before. Well, that's like on the ass end of your relationship when you know you're done with yo, but you probably still live with him. We start talking to another nigga so that when you move out. No, I just think that's this is what's up. <laughs> I'm, not, right I'm, I'm, I'm not about to get ready to go talk to another nigga. I got this other nigga still living here. Just no. So if I'm not happy, I'm not happy. I'm gonna tell you. No, but I'm not. So that's the whole time you all say No, but what? You ain't even let me get my shit out with your high ass. I say. I said, now once upon a time, okay, mm-hmm. I was never single. I was always in a relationship. Doesn't matter if I was with a male or a female, but a majority of my relationships have been with women. Mm-hmm. But um, I've been recently single for these four years. I had situationships, okay? I, I, I don't say that we are 
boyfriend and girlfriends, first and foremost, I'm too old to be saying that this is my boyfriend. Right. I need to say that's my man. Do you understand? And if I feel like we in a really in committed, a committed relationship, then that's my man. We're together. You know, like grown people shout. I'm not about to say, that's my boyfriend. That's my boyfriend. But technically, I've been single for four years. That's a stretch. I, I know. I've never been single this long ever in my life. Like I said, I had situationships. But I just, me personally, I, I don't like being single. I, I don't know if I, if I, wait a minute, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I just don't like it. All right, well, I just don't before like I it. ask my question, I'm going to wait to mm. the next question because I'm like, I don't want to. Okay. Because I got, I got a good question. Okay. Because so, you don't know what I'm going to ask. Okay, so. Time all right. Okay, so why are you single? Why am I single? My personal experience of why I'm single. Yeah, why Basically, I have an extension of what I said the first time. Like, I'm at an age where it ain't about to be no, like you said, boyfriend, girlfriend. It's, right. it's going to be my woman. I'm going to be a man. But you got to. We're you, ready to move to the steps necessary to make that. Work. But you got to find a woman that's but, like willing to take those steps with you because you know you are in the party it's, life. It's two things. In the, you're in the party life. And then a woman not going to really take that seriously. That's one of the two things. Because. I, I, and the only reason why I said it is because I'm not saying the man not gonna take me seriously, but I do have been in some relationships and I always had issues mm -hmm. because um, I was a porn star or, or yeah, I'm a dancer. Yeah, it's a fantasy. Everything so he loved. looked at it like, oh yeah, I got it. You know what I'm saying? But they're not willing to do what they need to do to, to get yeah. you from stop doing what you don't. We're not talking about no man situation. We're talking about mine because I'm not about to get tell you to stop working. You need no nigga. You the nigga. You the man, not the nigga, but you the man. Cause I want a nigga. So you the yeah. man. You gotta pay these bills. I'm not saying you paying everything, but you know you the man. You gotta step up yeah, and do what you're supposed to do yeah. as a man. I'm just sitting there saying like, far as for me, oh, I know they don't want me. They want me to stop dancing. Then you need to be the man to take care of me so I can stop dancing. I'm not asking you to like, but they say care of me and do this and do this and do that. But I'm just sitting there saying like, do better than what I'm doing for myself. You understand what I'm saying? But. And I'm 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 not saying why that I mean why I'm single. It's just that I just need to find somebody that's compatible with me. That's on the same level as me, far as want to get this money, want to build business and brands yeah. together, yeah. and and you know, want to live life and experience things in life that they have never even done before, or like you know we traveling and, and like I said and we get we we getting it and we living it. I, that's the only reason why that I'm still single. I'm not willing to put myself in a relationship again to build another nigga up for the next bitch. I keep doing that. I'm not doing it no more. I don't understand why the fuck I do that, but I'm not doing that shit no more. Well, that's not even an option. Eh, well, Burner, that's not. That's well, not. like you said, in order to build somebody up, that means that they're not at the level which you at, or. You see more potential in them that they right. get to meet, right. so you push them forward. But that but, takes energy from you as well. So that's. I mean, that's that something. is. It's a, it's a lot so of work. That means you have extra energy to give in the love, in the form of love in the relationship. Now, me personally, you ask me why well, I'm still single. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm to a point where, like I said, I'm at a certain age where next one I do, I'm, I'm tired of the build up. I'm tired of the temporary shit. I want that shit to be solid. And I want to be grateful. In all aspects, but you have financially, to mentally, too. everything. You get what I'm saying? I gotta be ready for it. You want to be ready for it because you know I just want so to. So until then, it's not gonna happen. I ain't about to play with you and make you think about it. No, I don't I think I'm gonna say, hey, you know, I'm not ready yet, so this is what we're gonna do. And yeah. I just don't think a woman is ready for you. You all over the place. Yeah, I, you I, have a right to be all over the place because. I, yeah, hey, y'all, I think I'm I just mean, not. You are, it don't, I'm, this is what I'm saying. You are enjoying yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Some women that's already established and already have a lot of things going for themselves. She's trying to settle down and maybe try to get a husband and get children. Some guys is not ready for that. Some guys are not mature when it comes to certain situations like that. See, I'm not dealing with nobody that's not in these area of what I want. It. You're not. If you know what I'm I'm waiting for it. Like, yeah, I guess I had to get it all out. Like it's a lot. It's a lot. Like if you if you're not ready for this. What makes you think that I'm gonna keep fucking you? What, what well, are we doing here? What are we doing here? Well, I give my own stuff. What? What are we doing here? When you're single, it's it's like you know some people have mm -hmm. control issues. They be like, all right, I have to answer anybody. Da, da, da. I mean, that sounds slick, but it be the people that don't even really be doing nothing to have to answer to the light. You be saying shit like that. 
So at the end of the day, like I can understand you like maneuvering how you want to maneuver. But when you single, you don't have to answer. You don't have to answer. You don't have to answer. You don't have to reply to that text. When people should, when people should not like say, oh, oh. X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z. What you mean? I don't have to answer you if I'm not with you. I'm still like, you could out there, feelings come with that shit. It's True hard that. to get out of that once the consistency. But that's, but that's different if you are dealing with somebody, you dating somebody, y'all getting to know each other, y'all talking. That's different mm -hmm. from either you being single or you messing with somebody that's your past or ex or whatever the case might be. So I have control situations old. over you. You understand what I'm saying? No, it's not like it, it doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. When you are single, you do what you fucking want to do. But if you don't want me to then tell you well, what you can and cannot do, why would you want to tell me what I can and cannot do? That's called cuff bluff. That is that is exactly cuff let me clap on that one. For everybody that don't know, yes. cuff bluffing. Me and my man Showtime. This is what we this is what we do. Yes. It's me and my man Showtime. Who else was it? I think it was my man Mark. It was a couple, well, couple me and my and my two ninety five crew, that's what I call <laughs> The ones down the road of PG and BC. We was all like I think we was in a group chat or something, just talking shit. And we came up with the word cuff bluffing. Cuff bluffing is when you deal with somebody, mm -hmm. but you're single. You single, I'm single, right? But here's the cuff. Here's the cuff. Oh, you feel me? <laughs> I like you. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to fuck with nobody else but me, <laughs> right? That's mm -hmm. the cuff. But he's bluffing because mm -hmm. you don't hear his part. He says in his head, but I can do what the fuck I want. When I want, and where I, I want, and how I want. Nothing, nothing, about, nothing but you can't say you. shit. But yeah. you can't go do but nothing, not fuck nobody, do talk not, nobody, date not nobody. Uh, yeah. Nigga, no. You that's, no, that's that's not that cool. When you're single, up. you're single. No, you're not about to get ready to tell me the fuck. I'm, I can't get on fucking you doing that. Kind of fucks up. Fucked up. That kind of fucks the form of dating up because that no, that's that's called selfish. That means yeah, a, a, a that female really or a male, they that. being selfish. Y'all being selfish. Stop doing it. You have some women that really just want to fuck with one person. They'll just chill until that's me. Until that's me. I, I love one that, person. They don't want to hit that shit. I know some girls that they probably just crack. Yo, getting satisfied, so she she don't want to take that L. Feeling case, she don't want. She don't want to just say fuck it, man. No, wrong I, nigga. I, she I, pick up that phone and call her. You feel what I'm saying? No, fuck that. There's some women like that. It's no, some that. women that just ain't tripping over it. But I want to be with one person because I like fucking one dick. I like sucking one dick. I like that one nut going in my mouth. I want that one nut going on my face. And you got some niggas <laughs> that want about three of them versus that one that says. And anybody can do all y'all niggas is nothing on this face. Please don't point out. What the fuck? Y'all ain't busting no babies you on this. They all doing. And they just having no. the ball. No. He's loving it right now. He's, he's cool with what's going on. Ew. You know, it's like that though. No. Same thing with women. Y'all just need to stop being got, selfish. Women got the hidden monster. Women got the nigga that's paying for shit. Women got the nigga they really like. You feel me? And women got the dude that she used to crack, but he just came back around not too long ago. So every once in a while, she probably did. That's what the current lineup is for most women. So let me or, ask you a question. You though. have some women that really just only mess with one nigga. One man is I see that's me. I like that. I mean, if I'm single, I do what I want to do. What I but want. it's up to you to believe him, though. But because a guy can say the same thing, and y'all look at him like, well, that's like he ain't no way you just cracking me because we only probably do it three times a week. The nigga probably. I mean, really he, might work, he might work. He too might really much. be busy or really he might be working a lot. He might be working a lot. He might be working a lot. I don't know. I'm just let me ask you this, okay? So, do you really think single people? Oh, we probably already just went over this. But and the question is, do you really think that single people really like being single? Because I know some people that really just do like being single. All right. They don't want relationships. They're not looking for no baby daddy, no, no husband. Right. They don't like none of that shit. I don't take no names, right? But I have a friend. She's cool as hell. She's been around for a while, right? Like, this is really a friend. Like, she's so fucking cool, right? She is a serial dater. You know what that is? A serial dater. Consistently. Out. Every time I see it. Different nigga, different oh man. God. I'm talking every time I see it. Different nigga, different nigga. She like being single. Listen, I ain't gonna hate the baby. Guess what? Get your money all nigga. by no. any means. Do it's about two me. month gap for I seen the same nigga. It's niggas. You hear? And even if you do the math, like, oh, she probably cracked on like half of them. That's niggas. You hear? But guess what? When one of them cuff her for real, and one of them say, "Yo, you my girl," she is the. She's a, she gonna cheat. That all oh, that shit done. 
No, hell no, she ain't. You think she gonna stop? I see you my own eyes. I she, know. she ain't got no rat. She cooking, she cleaning, she going to work, she coming home, she make sure the nigga, all that. And she he and he doing right. They doing right with her. When she in a relationship. But when she's single, she's out this motherfucker. That's having me. a ball in her best fucking life. Me. But when she is in a relationship, That's nigga, me. you can't get a high up a bitch. <laughs> but, but no, Dominic, don't that sound like me? No, like, baby. like, seriously, like, be honest. That really sounds like me. When I'm, I'm in a relationship, all I know is that nigga. I don't know no other nigga, nobody. I don't need no my girlfriends. You wanna go out where? To the casino? You wanna go where? Maybe we could do some lunch and that's yeah, about it. But bitch, know. I need to get home so I can make sure my man got a cooked meal because he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's making me good. He's making me feel good. He's making me satisfied. He's making me happy. He's making fucking Kiwi all the way happy. That bitch is all over the place. You hear me? <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, I'm, that's just me. I just, I don't know. I mean, but when I'm single, Listen, I'm doing what the fuck I want to do. That's but you like have some people that are terrible single. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> but, for experience. Mm-hmm. I took one of my past relationships from a nigga, right? From a guy. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> I was all right, excuse me, took up to her. Yeah, okay, she's over here now. Feel me? Once I cuffed her, I had to realize, like, damn, what type of person she is. She's extremely clean. She can't go without a nigga, without a boyfriend, without a man, whatever you want to call the person that's rocking with her. Anything, any gap. There's no gap. Like, I, I was uh I had got locked up right. I wasn't even gone two months. She engaged. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the that's fuck? how I be. No, I said, what the fuck? That's how I be when 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 my my ex husband did. Oh what? We was only got for three saying? months. Three months. Oh, but then that month we put that ring on my finger. Within that three months we were married. And with that three months we was um separated. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't believe it. I was like, damn. Yeah. I ain't never seen that. Huh? Was you mad? No, nah, because look, I, I know how it go. Yeah. Um, after the couple phone calls and that, yeah, you, like, you know, you usually answer the phone or something. Yeah. After like two weeks of no mail, as we know, like, it's happy. You know what's going on. Like, two, three weeks after no done. mail. I, sometimes mail run slow, but three weeks, we ain't no mail, you know what's up. <laughs> so. All right, so the next question is it better to be single or married? Depending on the type of person you are. Absolutely. I, 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 I agree with him on that one. You can't even get a flat answer because some people really do want one person. Some people truly only believe that you're supposed to be with one person. You can look at any land animal in the world, right? They yeah, they doing what they're doing. A lot of men doing what they're doing. A lot of women have different big, ch- you know, fathers of the child. Right. Some people don't want to hear that. They want that one person. See, and I want to be married. I've been married before, but I want to be married. But I want to be married to the right person. And I want to be married for all the right reasons this time. Mm-hmm. Or I can still continue on being single. And not the little no knuckle weird ass nigga. And like I told y'all before, it's a different from uh, a man and a nigga. Niggas a little voice to me. Men is a man that 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 that's that stands for what he is. He's a king. Do you understand? I don't give a fuck how old you is. You can you you can still be a boy. You can be 47 and still be a boy. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, do you think your standards are too high? No. No, because I've been in situations where women's women fell dead in love with me, and my standard where I was at at that particular time, I'm pretty sure it was below whatever standard they had going. So, I mean, like I understand, like like I said before, you know, I I told you, like I everybody thinks that I'm high maintenance mm-hmm. because of who I am, and I built this person, I built this brand for everything by myself with my own money. You understand what I'm saying? So everybody think that I'm high maintenance. For me, for real, for real, all I want is a regular dude. I don't want no dude that's well, out there in the open. But listen, let me just tell you though. I mean, because I have plenty of chances that I can be with a rapper, a singer, a wrestler, football player, yeah, baseball player, baseball player, and all those things, right? I want a regular, a regular working dude just loving me and all about me. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said before, you know, you didn't want somebody who got tons of money. That comes with bitches. Problems, Control, controlling. It comes with so much negativity that you will never be happy. Trust and believe it. I've been in them situations before. 
So I'm dealing with somebody that's regular. I don't have to go through all those things. I'm not saying that we won't have our ups and downs. Any relationship, you're going to have your ups and downs. That's how you get to, to know each other because. How you can handle that anger. Period, right? Angry, yeah. So me just basically sitting there saying that I don't have high standards when it comes to someone. No, I, yes, I am looking for certain things, but not too much of certain things. You want to say, I feel like I do want somebody that's on my level. Like we on the same level, we on the same page. No, I'm not here to take care of no man. I'm not taking care of no man. I'm best not my thing. I don't have a problem cooking, cleaning, catering, fucking. That's my thing. I would <laughs> love spoiling my man. You spoil true. me, I'm going to spoil you back. That's not an issue. I'm going to fuck you all day long. I'm going to suck you. I'm going to fucking cook for you. Even if so I don't want to fucking suck, I'm going to fucking do it. Did you hear me? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what a woman, that's a woman. That's what a woman's supposed to do. You need breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I will do it. If you want me to come bring you some lunch during your your shift, you know, on your lunch break, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem being that person and, and, and helping out with the children or or cater to your needs and making sure that Especially your bills are straight. Yes, yeah, that's why I didn't get to at, Well, since he's out of for me, Especially. he have to do the same thing for me. He have to cater to me and treat me like I'm a fucking queen. Don't treat me like I'm a bitch around the corner. Don't treat me like I'm a bitch. Don't treat me like anything. Or don't treat me because you think that I'm like just kisses and so, I deserve to be treated so, like any kind of way. So, so that yeah, you're going somewhere where I was getting ready to go. So that creates the single person with the main chick. Main nigga, main man, main woman. But right, but even but if he's still saying, but, but right, even if but like you said, him, don't treat me like you do the bitch around the corner. Don't no, treat me like you do. no, you better let it be known that I'm the main one you actually care about and fuck with. And it's it's but see, mine's not even that. that. And we're talking and we're dealing with each other. You got one time to impress me, like I got one time to impress you. And I always say a little one time, but you know, you got some things to impress me. So I'm about to get oppress you. Mm -hmm. Of me being this great woman and queen that I am, I'm not even show you this is who I am because this is my resume. Mm -hmm. I expect you to show me your resume back too. And that's why I've been sending posts like you got one time to impress me, but you're not impressing me. No, but if you want to say something about my ass and my titties, oh, you a, oh, oh I've seen he, your he, movies he and I'm sitting there like this. He's busting. I'm about to go and get some money from this nigga because he <laughs> ain't about to get this busting. So I'm about to you this nigga like a whole motherfucking trick. No, I mean, if we vibing and we connect and we conversate and shit like that, then yeah, you, like I said, you impressing me by conversating with me. Do you understand what I'm Showing saying? Showing you where your mind at. Yeah, I like shit like that. You ruin me. But, Not just. But like you said, a lot of people's approach to women is really messed up. Um, oh my because God. Like you said, like they'll look at you and think you high maintenance. You know, I got, I got cussed out yesterday. I turned the girl down. Really? Yeah, I left the club, closed the club down. Um, cleaned up everything. I decided I want to go to the gas station for something to eat. So I'm in there and the girl. Okay. Wow, wow. 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 Give me one of them, one of the razor. I felt like it was a razor coming out of my eyes. Trying my legs on. Like, um, well, but, you, but you're not, so but you're not a bang-looking guy. You're a very handsome, like, you know, very attractive, nice body and everything. So, I look so back. You, you understand why she was cutting your ass all up? I look up. back. I look back. I'm like, how you doing? So you say, like, I'm cutting fine. Him cutting him up like he was one of them little rocks. I said, you I'm know fine. that shit I'm talking about. I'm <laughs> I said, I'm fine. And she decided to just stand there in my way. So I'm like, mm -hmm. excuse me. So I kind of like, you know, excuse me. Go get some food and water. So, this sounds some bullshit. I come back. I mean, this sounds like some bullshit. Uh, I come back. Good. This was yesterday. This sounds like some bullshit. I come back. I even made a post about it on Facebook. So, I come back and she cut me off as soon as <laughs> I paid for it. And she's like, um, so you're going to give me another? I'm Wait, looking what? at I'm looking <laughs> at her like, you know, A shorty, like, nah. You know what I mean? No, I'm not. You know what I mean? I just straight was like, nah, I'm good. And I tried to walk past it again, and she was like, "Oh, that was all." I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I I shit. Try again. I was like, "Thank, thank you." She was like, "Yes," and I'm like, "Oh." She said, "What you mean, though?" No. <laughs> you were aggressive. Oh, she, got aggressive. I said, you were aggressive. she was like, "Yeah, I get what I want." I said, "Look, I ain't about to lie to you. you ain't about to get me. I ain't about to give you a fake number, and you call me and be like, this is a good chance. Tall nigga, be dreaded, hot in that car. He's a bitch." <laughs> I don't want to go through that. So I just, I just said no. This nigga's a bitch. That he, I was like, yeah. I was like, I was like, no. 
So I walked up. Guess what she said? I should smack shit out of you. I said, damn! <laughs> I think she said it like she was. Yeah, she that mad. She that yeah, she mad, mad, Dobby. She mad, mad. She whispered it right by her in the shower. She said yeah, she, she mad, mad. The child should just slap the shit out of you. I said, damn. Was she with her girls? It was, yeah, it was yeah, like, well, you embarrassed the fuck out of her. It was some little, little, little skinny chick. But she chip. mad, man. That's her problem. She was with a little skinny chick. And, um, was she ugly? She clearly was. was ugly. It was just that to the point where it was like, yeah, I'm at the point where if I look at you and I don't say, I don't have no reaction. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm talking about. I'm literally sitting there looking. Like at I'm you. a reaction. Now right? you you just died. Like I'm a reaction, right? So now I gotta like check I'm you reaction, out. Right? Nothing happened. Like I'm a reaction. Yeah, like you yeah. your reaction. Yeah. A nigga dick going jump. His mind gonna start racing. <laughs> Trump. I looked at this girl for at least about seven seconds and nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, listen, listen. That's not hit with the excuse me. Like well, you're just standing. Excuse me. I get it all the nothing time. Nothing happened. I get that all the time. You know, guys be trying to talk to me all the time. I, I just be like, mm, I know you. I know you see me, blondie. I know all that. Mm, that's what make out. me even keep on moving. Nothing stood out like an ugly guy with a, with a cute smile. A woman be like, <laughs> I love your smile. Uh, or, or, oh, she phony, but she fan and shit. Nothing. It was just. <laughs> let me get your number. I'm like. She probably no. like a little dusty. <laughs> you heard the pause. She's like, like a little dusty. No. I just wasn't in touch. That's the that's that old school shit where the niggas would throw a bottle at a girl. Yeah, well, fuck you, like that. Then, bitch, bro. I, you I thought bitch. that was nigga shit. I thought, I thought niggas did that. Well, fuck you, then, shorty. Yeah. That's shorty good said, shit, I right? should just so slap you. Cool. And niggas, they used to throw bottles at me. Yeah, <laughs> like, fuck so, what if she went in and just banged me, though? Like, no. Damn. That shit went crazy, right? So, I felt some type of way. I said, damn, I thought niggas did shit like that. Well, fuck you, then, bitch, you other yeah. anyway. You know what I'm saying? I seen that happen, but I ain't never see a woman do that. I have never. never she said she was gonna smack me. Cause I ain't wanna know. Fuck that bitch. She fucked me up. But <laughs> like, that's the thing. You can reject people. You single. Do the fuck you want to do. I don't want you know. But just because a nigga single mean he want to crack everything. No, you don't. You don't want to holler everything you fucking no. see that won't cross you. Mm-mm. Like I say, guys, we try. Even bitches. Even bitches. They be trying mm-hmm. to holler at me all the time. I be like, no, I just, I'm not in mood. I'm not in the mood to be out paint, trying to holler at somebody. I'm just I'm out because I want to be chilling, trying to get some food, trying to get a drink. I want to be You think I want to get? Do you think I want to holler at somebody every time somebody trying to holler at me? Oh, he's trying to talk to me. Let me get another number. Oh, hell no. <laughs> same thing with women though. Same thing with women. Women take it real bad because it's like they just figure that oh he's no. a guy, his dick hard. No, he trying no, to. No, not as bad. Not as bad is. It's clown ass niggas when they try to I had that somebody bitch. tell me uh, at, the, uh, at the party I was at uh, Saturday. Was that yesterday? Yeah, Saturday. And um, she told me, I don't want nothing. I just want the dick. Okay. I don't want to fight nobody. I don't want to fight. I said, look, I want you to put you in a situation to fight nobody or do no crazy shit because I'm not fucking. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, boo. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just say, you know, I see you. Hey, good. Hey, what's going on? Uh, you know my nigga. Well, you know what mine yeah. is? You know what mine yeah, is? Man. Oh, say, so if I want to talk about, oh, yeah, ass fake. Absolutely. What you doing? It was real. Just what so you doing? I'm about to say my ass is real because you man, I ain't want to holler at you. Oh, that bitch ass fake. Yeah, hey, this bitch ass is definitely fake. I remember not too long ago, bitch showed me I was $10, gay. $10,000. See, I was gay. I was going to $10,000 body. Absolutely. I ain't want her know. She was, I ain't going to lie. She like. It's not even about having a type, oh, she too big, she too small. It was mm-hmm. more so like, or has a type of proportion, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, look like something. Look like you took your time to put yourself together for you like that. house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let it be known that I'm about, to, right. I'm about to leave the house. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that it's known that I'm about to go somewhere. You look decent. You get what I'm saying? Have yourself together. This bitch walk to me looking crazy. Mm-hmm. You know how like they say you, you go to Walmart, you throw the phone on the scarf. I have never been to Walmart with a phone on the scarf. Not seen them. Sweatshirt top. Your dirty flip flops. Everything. Your dirty flip flops too. And I'm like this. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Excuse me. I'm like, oh, what's up? Um, I'm pretty straightforward. I thought, you know, they say I want your number, and I'm like, I'm cool, I'm cool for real. Show you how what you gave us. Why do they always got used to gay I shit? I said, damn. I said, sure that you were. This is even you gay when you fake. What's wrong with fake booty ass right? you gay as fuck because you don't want to talk to I was about to slide her little dirty ass, right? But I was in the rush and I was in the mall and I ain't want to. I just laughed at that bitch. So I just looked at it and was like, I'm good. She won't be fired off here. 
But that was tough, man. You don't talk about it for that. Because you phony and nigga don't want you to know. <laughs> Now if I say that and you just say something slick and we can start fighting in the mall, then over you, you know what I'm saying? No. Sure. And here you go with another whole situation Hold again. Situation. A whole other situation. This might got time. So I'm just straight, you know what I mean? Just walk away laughing. I, I, I should have just shit. said it. Look, sure. You phony for real. And I ain't trying to hurt your feelings, but you clearly you know. already hurt the feelings. You clearly you That's why I say he didn't even have to say all that. I done left it. The bitch kept it on fucking moving. No, okay. see, women, women, they want to know women why. And men don't like rejection. They want to know why he likes rejection. Listen, I listen, listen. I know because all I get is you fake booty bitch. Yet yeah, absolutely, yeah. it's fake. And this is the same thing that was trying to holler at you one second before that. Yeah, <laughs> you were trying to fake. You were trying to fuck this fake ass booty. Good. Period. That's because all you want to do is crack. Once you realize yeah. you're interested, he wasn't you hitting no ass. I don't give my ass to anybody. My motherfucker shit. It's motherfucker precious and it's good as golden. I do not give that bitch to every motherfucking body that fucking walks. I don't know why people keep thinking that that's all I do is fuck, 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 <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I like the man to be with that pussy. Y'all heard me talk about this quite like a few times like on this show. I like fucking yeah, I do though, but I ain't pressed. I like the fuck. I ain't pressed. I'm gonna take your battery off no shit. Oh, yeah. Ghetto and shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we need to go to the next question. Listen. We still got like three more today. Okay, so what do you do when you get lonely? Call somebody else. See, <laughs> not me. I can't. I can't. Or, I can't or, let everybody date in, in, in my palace. Or, listen, in I my lie. head. If I don't do that, it depends on what lonely level I'm on. If I'm on something, I just want to think about myself right now. I'm good. I don't want to be around nobody. Of course, I'm not calling nobody. But if I'm lonely, like, damn, I'm going to rub some ass right now. <laughs> like, damn, you know, really, you know how you just wake up, you be like, damn, I'm trying to crack something today. You heard, that's a different type of lonely. So, of course, I'm going to be hitting somebody. I mean, I mean, I got situations like that, too, though. But, of course, I'm be what, I mean, I, I, look, 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 for eight months, well, nine months, I done laid alone by myself. Do you hear me? Yeah, I can't go and, and I, But I had a peace of mind, but it was lonely. But like, now I'm I like, I'm long. used I was, to it. You had a lonely peace of mind. Yeah. <laughs> I, had this, I got this big ass teddy bear. I was cuffing that teddy bear. I was wearing that teddy bear to fuck out. I was wearing my own vagina with my motherfucking vibrator. And I got it whenever I wanted to get it. So it just was like, you had anybody, a with a dildo. A vibrator. A, a vibrator. A and my teddy bear. And it's, like, it's like, you know, Ted, that little. Kind of looked yeah, like that a little yeah. bit, yeah. But, so yeah, absolutely, yeah. but it, it it was like um, one of the body ones, but it, it kept me like when I needed to lay next to somebody because I like love and affection. So I want to lay next to somebody, and I want I want I want to cuddle. Right, right. I want that. You know, the summertime, body. you really don't give a fuck or too much. Like, yeah, you know, I mean, not now because it's cold. COVID, like, damn, you in the house full, you ain't got nobody lay over. You don't want to buy everybody over because everybody got COVID. That's why I'm thinking everybody, everybody got like COVID. Dirty motherfuckers. <laughs> dirty as motherfuckers. None of these people wasn't even dirty before COVID hit. <laughs> but it's like everybody, 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 everybody dirty. But guess what, though? Oh, yeah, the season is definitely coming. We definitely got a, a whole topic for that, too. That's coming up soon. So, you know, you're like, damn, I need to find me a boo for the fall and the winter because who the fuck want to lay alone during the fall and the winter? <laughs> Listen, the cold nights be mad. Man, trust me, I know. The cold nights make you look mad. Trust me, I know. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ugh, I can't stand this shit. Like, damn. Never again, not this don't let Don't let no man tell you he don't be in the house like this. No, I don't even know. <laughs> they be in the house. Ain't nobody trying to answer the phone. Really. Nobody answer the phone. And that's how the ugly girls get cracked. That's During the, the season. That's how the ones he was ignoring get cracked. When nobody answer the phone, he really sitting there. And he, all he hears, ding, or Facebook message. You hear that. Right time. Where you at? It's in there. That single nigga shit. I ain't had that shit in a long ass time. That's definitely some single people shit. I ain't had that in a long time though, right? But that's something that be happening. That's how the wrong woman gets cracked. That's how, because the nigga was so horny. He really just wanted to crack. And that ended up being his baby mama. That be the one he get pregnant. That be the one they didn't get pregnant. Mm All right, so moving right along. Okay, do you ever, let me see, do you ever think you may be the problem towards your singleness. <laughs> I do sometimes, but it's okay. I already explained to y'all. I I am real out. Okay, I am an Exodel star, a uh, a fucking dancer, a new model. I I I I'm a rapper. I'm all this entertainer shit. So yeah, I am my source of me being single because a man, not a man, not a man. I'm gonna rephrase that. A nigga, because I told you y'all know boys are niggas. Okay, okay. 
y'all don't know how to handle and accept someone. Like, I only really had that one person that really had no shade for them and stuff. I ain't saying her name, but for that seven, six, seven years, who only knew how to handle being with luscious kids, and it was just an amazing relationship. I'm not saying all things was always peachy and creamy because stuff is not always peachy and creamy. But I'm just talking about far as we build business together, we, we built brands and stuff together, and we also we had fun and, and did things together. Like good, huh? you understand what I'm saying? And was not scared to show me or or come to my my photo shoots and make sure that I looked nice and looked good, looked pretty, and make sure everything was set up X, Y, and Z. And I am looking for a man that's like that. If you can sit there. Fellas, if you can sit there and um, can deal with me and me being luscious kisses and we both making money and getting money to fellas, stop together, because I don't want me a nigga that ain't scared to go on fans sweat. Yeah. Fellas. Okay. Let's do this shit. Get this coin. It's so I'm walking money bank. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all don't see I'm a walking old money bank. I fellas, know I'm walking money fucking bank. Her DMs open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you better answer money. <laughs> Come them DMs. But anyway, I'm just sitting there saying like, no, I'm like, seriously, like, Yo, like, what the fuck is wrong with having a bad looking ass bitch, a bitch that's that bitch that do cook, clean, and cater and fuck? And not to put, not to bring money, put money in the house, not to take it a whole full household who does everything and run businesses, like, mm-hmm. and, and work at the skills is fucking amazing. That's why I'm single. Because well. y'all not, y'all, y'all not used to a go getting ass bitch. Y'all so used to. These welfare yeah. ass bitches. Fault, Y'all bro. all used to these bitches living off of niggas. Y'all all used to nothing ass hoes. I'm just fault, sitting though, there yeah. saying, Y'all don't want a money making boss look, bitch. Look, Y'all don't want that. a bitch that's not on your level or past oh. your level or making some motherfucking oh. money. Y'all fucking stupid. Y'all is fucking stupid. Get with a bitch that's willing to get this money. She and with a bitch that looks motherfucking good at the she same gone. time. Okay. And don't got stress smoke. Yeah. Ain't got a thousand on, motherfucking go kids on, or any motherfucking thing else. Go What's on, wrong with that? And trying to help you motherfucking build business and brand. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? I did. I'm trying to get the Bible <laughs> to 5,000. Take my wings so it's a little bit. Take my little shit. Right, I'm trying to get back to the question. Look at me. I'm sorry. You just. <laughs> You just you just beat the shit out of somebody in your in your mind just now. Um, the question, say the question one more time. You What's say, the fucking question? The question was. Okay, I'm sorry. I I, I got a little out of control. A little. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. You just okay. went off. What was the front you bought here? I you just had a rant. Yeah. <laughs> I said, do you ever think that, that you may be the problem now, of you being single? Well, listen to what you said. You okay. said you twice in that one sentence. You. You start talking about what niggas think. Fuck them niggas. He said you. So me, yes. I only had one man. I do believe. But some of niggas. What you basically was asking yourself is, what is it about you that's keeping just keeping you safe? So I'm gonna say this. I really just don't be ready. I'm not ready yet. It's something in me that's making me say I'm not ready yet. Like I don't know what it is. Like I don't want. It's like I don't want to make a mistake or something. But see, you you young. You I'm forty. Like, I don't want to. Forty. Fuck up. I, I, a mistake. Have, I just don't want to just not do it right. You get what I'm saying? Like, but you're young and you still got like a, a lot of. I'm like, under forty, so I guess. You, I'm young. Yeah, you you not forty. I'm in the forty and over club. I'll be forty one next year. Here. I'm listen. I'm not worried because I'm good for my age. It's what I'm just sitting there saying. I just want a partner. That's on the same level as me as far as building. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's building business and brands. It's building things. Not written. We building for mortgages. We are building. Because you know it's obligation for your relationship. For love. The yeah, obligation. I know that. Everybody not ready for that shit. Oh, that one person. It's just like, it's just like when a kid comes and the daddy disappears. Look at his resume. <laughs> when when the bills fuck up, the mother just had a nervous breakdown. You get what I'm saying? Like it happens. Because those are single mother issues. I got single mother issues too. I'm single. I definitely and I'm a single man mother. First issue, yeah. yeah, I'm always mentioning the names. I mention no names. Issue. I, I did good. No, no, listen. I'm gonna tell you, I am a name dropper like a motherfucker. Do you hear me? I would drop any motherfucking no, diamond, no, diamond. Not. You know that. No, no, no. But this just no, says what, and you can say what you want, when you want, how you want on this show. Do you understand? She I normally name drop. I didn't drop. Uh, I didn't. I didn't say entertainers shit. Entertainers that they came in the club. Yeah, I didn't name drop entertainers that was mm-hmm. like horrible. Yes, yes. And we'll get to those ones. <laughs> but I'm just sitting there saying, okay. So are yeah, you currently dating? Right there. Am I currently dating? 
Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody's kind of different. Yeah. Girl, I, I look at it like this. Like, if you talk to somebody, you done went out twice or y'all hung out or you're still hanging out with somebody that you was already hanging out with, you dating. Right. I still dating. Right. I dating think is I'm, connecting with anybody else on the, on the I think it's y'all y'all living and y'all living life and y'all enjoying each other. You know, That's I mean, everybody seems is dating is different. There's but, different kinds of stages of dating. We're dating to have fun. We're dating to get to know each other. We're dating to go to the next step. You about to say exactly what I think I'm, I think you're about to say. What? One of the people are asking me that. What? When when you ask that, are you dating? And you say yeah or no. Well, are you dating with a purpose? Yeah, you dating with a purpose. Are you dating with a purpose? Or are you just dating? Hey, you know, I ain't sure else to do. I really can't do whatever I want, but I'm gonna go find a female to fuck with. Right. I'm dating. We hop in the I pool, mean, see the I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's wrong. I don't think it's wrong with dating because you're getting to know each other. If you really want to know each other, y'all want to go out and go out to eat or go to the movies. Oh, like look. Let's just go out of town real quick and have a nice little time. We, we're enjoying each other's company and having fun and living life. So it's nothing wrong with dating. I think dating is amazing. That's how you get to know each other. The ups, downs, you do what you want, so what, and that whatever. And brings me to the serial dater that I was talking about. <laughs> Every other day, new guy. Now, like I said, I don't know if she's having sexual relations with every guy, but if so, no, she she's is. getting money. She's getting the money. She's single. Mm-hmm. Get your coin, bitch. She gets, get your she coin. is in a relationship, mm-hmm. you can't get a high on her. Once again, Diamond, who do that sounds like? Can't get a high out of her. Who that sound like? You can't get a high It out sounds out. like me, don't it? And once I'm in that relationship, you don't know nothing. You don't hear nothing. You don't say shit. All I'm doing is work. Right. And keep it on working. I can better get my work and shit together, too, because sometimes I'm in love and kind of fucks up my little shit when I'm working and, and I need to stop that, which I, I, I'm i stopping it now. It's gone. You see that? It's gone. I hope so. It's gone. Yeah, I, I, I kind of let some of my relationships fuck up a lot. You just went off a couple minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, it is what it is. Sometimes I'm you just gotta. Later, no, I'm like, no, it is what it is. Gotta speak. Right no, let me tell you. My mom and father say, "Speak with me, my family, with your peace." So I'm gonna keep speaking yeah. <laughs> my peace out of my mouth. I don't I'm care who don't like me. I'm standing out too, so yeah. I don't care. I was always told That's I got the mouth here. I'm gonna let you emotional. know. I'm gonna have my emotional episode. Mm-hmm. You is. I be having them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't too. care whether really like it or not. I'm gonna have my same. You will. It's okay. It's okay. You high shit right now, so it's okay. I'm high. <laughs> but, <laughs> but no. What you said for real, smooth mm-hmm. shit though. Like, I can definitely agree with you on that as well. You, you've been, you've been right so far. You've been right so far today. I'm always right. You've been right so far. Today. I'm always right. I'm so I really ain't this. had too much of a, of a negate with you, but yeah, like I swear to this. Like, yo, being single is like you said. Like, yo, I know women that have sex drives, which I'm a quote because people just be mm-hmm. saying anything. Like men, they don't mind, you know. Damn, that's the third nigga, nigga, third nigga this week. Yeah. You know, they don't care. Mm-hmm. They don't care. They don't care. And they carry it the next day. Like, that's why I say it's nothing that wrong with being single. If you want to be single, be single. God I'm true. just, I'm being single so I find the right perfect person. And no one is perfect. But I'm just waiting for God to send me somebody. Whatever I did, man, that he sends for me, mm-hmm. send me a good man that's like really on my level. So other than that, you know, I can keep it on moving until then. I will keep going and keep searching so I find the right perfect person right, for right. me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. And he has to be definitely sex sex wise because if you ain't no way to be compatible being that bedroom, now, girl, th- this is something I wanted to ask. I don't want to make it work. Something I always wanted to ask. But I'm gonna woman. try to make it work. <laughs> One thing I always wanted to ask a single woman in the interview, right? Okay. How upset do you get when you let a man crack and that shit fall? Like you, do you feel like you wasted pussy? Do you feel like you don't give him another shot? Cause you kind of like them. No. Like what's going on? My thing is okay. So I mean, and you're single, so now it's like, damn, another body. You get what I'm saying? No, I, I, I don't think like that. It's another I, body. I don't, I don't think like that. Even though my sex drive is just extremely amazing at 40, and I love it. But if this person is really treating me the way that I need to be treated, it doesn't mm. even matter if they sex is good or not. It's all in how he makes me feel as a woman, as a queen. So if he's making me, I, it, it doesn't even matter because I mean I'm not gonna say that I I, I was in a relationship that had domestic sex. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it wasn't all about that. It just I love the way that they had made me feel or how they treated me. I do 
want that person's sex drive to be as high as my man. Everybody's sex drive is not on my level. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you want to, I'm like, you might get a guy, he might bust in five minutes every time. <laughs> but he still might have some good penis, but the five minutes of that penis be some good penis. Some good five minutes. <laughs> some good five minutes penis, but I, I wish five minutes. <laughs> As long as as long as the full play beforehand Hashtag is amazing before the five minute dick, I'm right with that. But like I said, I would rather be with someone that's just treating me like a woman and the queen that I am. And that's good. Versus then you I giving me so. some good big donkey ass dick and, and you treating me like it's I ain't slay. shit. You just I'd rather to have the guy who has the five minute ass penis and treating me like a motherfucking queen. I'd rather have that than okay. that. This. All right, that's fair enough. That's a good answer to that question. All right. And some people be saying yeah. dumb shit like, oh, these niggas, I don't mess with nobody. Let's take that, 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 and got this going on and got that. Like, well, how did you end up with two baby falls and you still sing? Yeah, thank you. you, you, you I gotta make mom. You're not living by what you're saying. You're not living by what you're saying. You're not living by what you're saying. You, 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 it sounds slick, it sounds like something you wrote down and rehearsed. Right. But you're not living that shit. You know, it's like bitches just be talking music got lips. Bitches be rappers now. Like, yeah, they all the way rappers. All y'all niggas like, be the same way. I'm, I'm gonna still defend our two sisters. So guys, sis, because they talk too, because they only got lips. But for this last question, oh, so sure. during holidays, how do you feel? How do you feel about that being single during the holidays? You mean like Christmas and Valentine's Day? Christmas, like Valentine's Day. I feel like it's a Thanksgiving. Setup Thanksgiving. And all that shit is right after each other, first of all. I fucking love it. I love right Valentine's after each other. Day. Thanksgiving is family. Christmas like is family and love. I love Christmas. New Year's is new beginnings with your family. Valentine's Day is straight up Absolutely. love with your short. That's four months of terror. That's not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's not. But if you're in really in love, it's easy. It's a flow thing. You do what you can afford. You do what you can think of. You do what you believe is fun. Now, if it's somebody you just really kicking it with, boom. I was just telling somebody today about this same topic. Y'all know B King, he's the, uh, a man, a DJ from Houston, he got that. Then leave. Yeah, peace out. That's my man. I like his music. Go ahead. Well, some of them. <laughs> <But> <laughs> in one of his verses, he said, No, nah, I can't give him no money. I might give that bitch a sonic slushy, but no, nah, I can't give him no money to crack. You feel what I'm saying? So he can get some pussy. And he says something like, no, I don't mean like I don't never just look out for a bitch. Like, I ain't saying I just fuck a bitch or just get out of the house. If I'm consistently doing something with somebody, like we really kicking it, you know, we had a little connection and shit like that, and she hit me with a, oh, she down on the rent. I'm not going to pay the whole rent. I mean, you could give us something. But here like 300, 350 hours, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I don't think it's nothing wrong with you. Can, you can do stuff like I don't have a, I don't think it's nothing wrong with you putting in on something. You can do something. I mean, like you that. coming over our house, you still eating shit and grieving in her shit. But that's why and a lot of people are single because niggas get rap music and entertainment construed and think that if you buy a bitch dinner, use a, use a hoe, use a trip. You paying for pussy? That's, and that's listen, not what the fuck's going on. No, it's, it's definitely not. I mean, how are you saying you paying for the pussy anyway? God. Niggas be scared to do Great. shit to make a woman say, like, oh, I like, want more. I, or niggas I, I, I'm more. just saying, how do you say niggas how niggas it looks you paying for the pussy? pussy? So at the end of the day, you say they take her out to dinner, lunch, breakfast, you paying for the pussy. If you spend a time, what are you paying for the pussy? I don't give a fuck how you say You ain't even got to pay for the pussy. You paying for the pussy. Okay? You conversation with her. You're paying for the pussy. Do you understand? It's not about none of those things. Like, Come on, it's nothing wrong. If you sit there laying up in her bed and fucking her and sit nice and nice and, and, and using up and shaking them up on the toilet and everything else, you eating up in her shit. Yeah. What's wrong with you putting, giving her a couple little bit of dollars to pay some bills? It's nothing wrong with that. Or put some food in the house. Niggas it's nothing wrong with game. that. Or go get her nails and toes on her head and make her feel wanted. It's nothing wrong with that. Stop trying to make a bitch feel like she's dead on something because. She wants you to do a little something, something for her. What's wrong with that? It's nothing wrong with that. But y'all want us to be out here and throwing these legs all up in the air, turn his ass all around the circle. Y'all want us to do all kinds of motherfucking <laughs> things. Suck your dick, eat your cum, let you fuck us all in our ass, let you run game, and all do all kinds of shit. So what is wrong with you doing a little something for the female? There's nothing wrong with that. that. I get like that sometimes. Don't pay me no matter. She going off again. Five more is on 5,000 that. All right, so look. Okay. So look. I'm just saying. I'm just saying too. That was a good. That was a very good description. You were really deep in the detail. I really don't have nothing. Ladies, else I'm with us. Okay. I only had nothing else ready to say because that was deep. But, um, like I said, when you're <laughs> single, it's crazy because it's like, what barrier can you cross and which one can you not cross? Right. Can can I can I throw a couple of hours without her thinking? Oh my God, he loves me. 
How about, but, but how, about should, how about oh he cared about me a little bit? That's what's up. You know, but, what I'm but, like, but, but, <laughs> but sometimes it's all in how you treat you know a woman like. or what you're saying to a woman to make a woman feel like that. Because you could be gassing her up and making her feel like a little something, 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 and you gonna make her fall in love with you. You could be fucking her real fucking good, and she get a little dickmatized. It's okay because we get like that a little bit. Just like y'all get a little pussies massage sometimes mm. too. When a bitch is doing that pussy, give you some good wet coochie, mm. you know, yeah. giving you that wah wah wah. All that shit is. Yeah. Oh. All that shit. There's nothing wrong with that. No. It's okay. It's crazy because that's where I'm mm. fucking up at, man. It's like, nigga, you open up a car door and it's something different. Oh my God, he opens up the car door. Because all niggas don't open up car doors. Oh my God. You better open a car door for you me. Know? Oh, he he held my hand when we were across the street. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm going to tell him to hold the hands. I mean, you, that, that's, that's, that's that. Comfortability right there. It'd be it like shit feel that like, feel like oh my god, this man, this you I've been, I've been in situations shit. where oh, I shit. feel like I should have just dug out and dipped because the regular stuff I was doing must have been Superman and holy shit to her. Because you gotta understand it's the little things that count. It's the little things that make a woman feel amazing. It makes her feel good. It's the little things. We don't need to have all the diamonds and all the money and all the jewels or all the fuck you want to call it. It's the little things. Little things. Even yeah. a good morning text means so much to somebody. Yeah. Do you understand? Regardless if you're single now, regardless if you're in a relationship, regardless if you're dating, whatever the case may be, a single text. Are uh, we going out on a date? We together, but we're dating with friends or whatever. It's nothing wrong with holding our hands and kind of making her feel good. Nigga, you about to get yourself some pussy tonight. Make me. I told you that one time to impress me. Make me feel good. You making me feel good and making me feel wanted. Nigga, you might get Miss Coachy tonight. Might, might. That's the thing. But, and listen, it all depends what comes out of your motherfucking mouth. Cause some of y'all niggas be saying some dumb ass shit. Then you can make a bitch feel good until you open up your dumb ass, little ass mouth. Sometimes you bitches too, cause y'all can't, y'all, y'all dumb too. But I'm just sitting there saying, if you making that person feel good, and y'all join each other, night and you join each other and stuff like that, that makes somebody want to go. We need to get to these sex. It's, it's too much stuff. It's a lot of stuff you can't do when you're single though. Because they're gonna happen their own impression sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they can't but, handle what's but going right. On. And sometimes a man can't help being a gentleman and too. Sometimes and a lot of women can't help because they never had certain things before. Or they never had a man to be a man to them or give the man these things. Because like I said, you That's all true. got nothing but niggas that's out here. And a lot of their baby daddies are motherfucking niggas. So them <laughs> niggas never gave them the manly shit. Never gave them that opportunity to feel like a woman, feel like a queen that she is, to make her feel like she's a whole that bitch around the corner, way bitch, you slap bitch, I'm a fucking, and then I'm this bitch, I'm gonna come fuck you whenever I want to throw the stick up in you, and you end up getting pregnant, kind of bitch. I'm just sitting there saying, that's how, that's how niggas make a bitch fit. Now we need to get into these sex things. Y'all gonna have me keep going off. That's just me. This tips for the bedroom or, or tips for single people in there. Okay, so I, I ain't really put the status on it. I just, I just wrote it. So it's gonna go either way. Yeah, this is we gonna get through it. All right, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So we gonna go to number one. Okay. <laughs> I didn't put the top on. Right. I thought I did, but I'm sorry, you guys. But we all move right on to like your sex tips, okay? So this is where you get your pens and paper. I don't take these notes because we gonna like you up with tips and tricks you don't want to miss. Okay. Sex. All right. So. <laughs> Number one, practice self-love. You deserve to be loved not only by those people around you, but, of course, by yourself as well. Self-love is amazing. A nigga should not even make you feel less of a motherfucking woman. Sis, sometimes these niggas can make you feel like that. Trust me, I I felt it before. I felt it before. I'm going to drink on that for us. Go ahead. So a complete circle of self-love, as in mentally and physically. physically. Okay. Emotionally, all those Gosh. things. You understand what I'm saying? So she got to really get into herself, get into private herself. thoughts, mm-hmm. her thoughts about what she do when she's mm-hmm. going. Okay, so it's like a full surface thing for men and women, both both sexes. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm just speaking up for the ladies. You go ahead and speak for y'all niggas. <laughs> Anytime, here's a tip, here's a tip, here's a tip, guys, here's a tip, anytime you real, you real, I, I hear this works a lot, anytime you really horny or you really just need to bust one and you Option A and B, or even if you got a C ain't come through, oh, beat your dick, bro. Because anything G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-G-F-
Cause you gonna make a bad mistake, boy. You gonna oh, be a man, that be the one that fall in love with you, and she crazy. Oh, that you know what I'm saying? You can wake up and you got spray paint all over your car. Yeah, cause busted yeah, yeah. windows. Cause a bad that bitch, bitch and just got the car on fire. Yeah, she gonna be that bitch from now on. Yeah, man, bitch. All right, to the next one. View life in a positive side. Beautiful things will indeed happen if you distance yourself from negative vibes. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I sage my face a lot because. I don't want no negative ass energy yet. 2020 already has been fucked up for me. Okay? I understand everybody. I understand everybody. For everybody, yes. But I'm just speaking in general right now of myself. So I just, what I do, I do a lot of meditating. I do a lot of, uh, of spiritual things when it comes to my face because I try to keep all the negative energy away from me. I try to keep negative ass people away from me because they're no good for me. There's no good in my life. So they're so cool. My circle is this small now. It used to be this size. Now it's like this. Because Everybody's I don't like that you motherfucking people. It'd be a lot of situations where your circle gets smaller. Which is why a lot of people My, are single like too. It's not even a circle no more. Which is why a lot of people are single too. Yeah. Because they that person energy wasn't good. Their vibe wasn't as good. Don't nobody got time for that. You were attracted to the wrong thing. You weren't attracted to that person as a whole. You attracted to probably how that butt looked or how tall he was, or how or how you know he got tattoos. That's my thing, like he got tattoos. No, or something. You know. That's my thing. Is that I'm tattoos. But everything's no. toxic now, so you can't. Everything say, is oh, toxic. Short, nice big girl with tattoos is toxic. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but and, and it's crazy because 2020 even made them look worse than like all the the negative energy and all the negative people, all the negative vibes and all kinds of stuff. I'm just saying, I just don't want that stuff. And it was the worst out of me, but also made me happy. At the end, because I got to know myself a little bit more mm -hmm. and get to know other people as well. All the fake phony people that was in my life, that's been in my life for years. I noticed that a lot of people wasn't there for me when I wasn't feeling good. And I noticed who was there for me. And I just noticed like uh I, I just noticed a lot. And I just like like I say, you know, I just shelter myself away from people, which is nothing wrong with that. I want my vibe to always be on bleak mode, you know. Understood. Some good shit. That's understood. Okay, consider financial benefits of being single. Mind you, I'm trying to see like my glasses on wear glasses. Okay, so being yeah, single isn't are. stressful. I'm trying to speak as I can. <laughs> <laughs> being single isn't stressful because you're no longer have to worry about a partner need or desire. Meaning that you don't need nobody. You may want somebody. But you don't need nobody like me. Yeah. I don't need a motherfucking soul. I may want because I want to cuddle. I want to love and I want affection. I don't need you for finance. I don't need you for nothing. I'm making it on my own. I'm doing the fuck I got to do. Because some people also think that you need them because you got money or anything else. No, bitch. I'm going to work on my own money, get my own stuff. Like, I don't need you. Oh, I don't need you for sex. <laughs> yeah, I may you. want it, <laughs> but I don't need it. Yeah. I don't need you, period, bitch, in my life. Who the fuck want to be stressed? So, but go ahead. being single is supposed to eliminate a lot less stress, unless you're in a situation where I brought up that you have someone that's a lot more connected than you, no matter what you say or do to them or for them. They believe that, you know, they got some type of connection. And that can create stress. That can create some bullshit Absolutely. for you. Because even though, you know, you start wanting to respect it, and, no, you can't do that because you don't think y'all go together. If you want to remain single, you have to really understand what single means. I can really do what I want. And I'm still learning that. Okay? You can talk to somebody. You know, I'm still learning those things. I'm still learning those things. Kicking ain't hard. You just gotta really okay. know what you like. Like you just can't just hop on everything because they nigga want to take mm, you. Yeah, no, no. go at what you like. Like if somebody hits you on Facebook, or they need to look at his pictures and tell you a video chat, right? So go through a couple pictures, look at what's going on, read a couple of comments, know what type of lifestyle he's living, see if that's something you want to do, and then you can connect, see what he really look like mm -hmm. on camera. And talk to him for a little minute and just see how the background sounds. 20 kids in the background. This is a female back there. Why he got this going on. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and that's when you connect more. Now y'all talking on the phone or meeting up and doing whatever it is y'all want to do. Absolutely. So the next one is serve, serve God. Instead of complaining or being sad about your relationship status, why not just fix your eyes on Jesus? You know, why not? Just, 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 just pray about it and just focus more on uh on just you know get like it's like yourself it's not a wrong with having having god in your life or jesus however one you choose to worship it's not a wrong with having even one of them in your life they have been amazing to me because i have been through so much stuff for so many years that you know it helped me 
through such certain situations. You know Everybody got a higher power that we look up to. Absolutely. Whether you think about it or not, whether you're atheist or whatever you want to be, it's something bigger than us. Some people don't really worship as far as like going to church or praying directly, but they know what's going on. So it's but, some I, but, I feel, but I feel like you don't have to go to church to believe in God. You don't. You don't have to. And I said that I had to take this time and time and time because, you know, I had just not so long ago in an interview with some pastors and everything. So if a lot of church people was on there was judging me or whatever case. You can't ju judge me. Only one person can judge me. That's God. At the end of the day, just because I don't go to church, that don't mean that I don't have the faith in the Lord. I've been baptized. I've been in church. I just sung on church choir. I grew up in church all my life. You understand what I'm saying? So that don't judge me. That don't... You can't judge me for saying that or saying things about me or me not having my faith. I have my faith in the Lord. You understand? I always keep from I would love... To have the faith in the Lord in so, my relationship. So, so would you be able to deal with the would you be able to deal with different religions? What if a guy was Buddhist or Muslim? Well, I have dated a lot of Muslims. And how's that work out? Um, I mean, so far it worked out fine for me. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody has their own religions. I don't, you know, I don't say, well, I'm not gonna talk to you because you're a Muslim. I also had dealt with a Muslim before, and one of the Muslims and his peoples gave me Muslim books to read. And then deciding and stuff like that. Not saying that I was not going to change my belief in the Lord. You understand what I'm saying? But it wasn't enough around with learning of a culture yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff I like that. I'm read a lot of the Quran, the Torah. I, I just said I wasn't ready to change. I'm not converting over or nothing like that. I, I love looking the way that I look <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, everything. Not wearing nothing. No, but yeah. every guy that I seem to come across to always a Muslim. They, they Muslim. always Muslims. And I, I guess I attract, I'm, I'm attracted to them or something, but it doesn't bother me that it's a Muslim because we still do the same things. It's, Majority, you know, yeah. Ancient man doing things. I different. mean, what's the difference that you do? Unless you go to Jujimas or or you go to do or your you own prayers plans. and stuff like that. I don't bother. I'll let you do what you got to do and keep it on moving. Yeah, I make sure you face you know like that. Yeah, I know how that shit goes. Trust me, that. I believe. <laughs> I done taken enough of them. I believe. Trust me. On the door and all that other stuff. Trust me, I've been through it. Have they ever tried to get you to uh, participate in Robin John or anything like that? I know it was probably, you know. I mean, I mean, one 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 particular person that was he's he was like, um uh he's like really, 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 uh really in into like born into it, like really a good really like into, into yeah, he's really like born into Muslim, like family Muslim and everything is Muslim. Yeah. And you know, I mean, we did, you know, some Ramadan and stuff. We did a Ramadan together, whatever the case might be. But we cracked at the end. <laughs> 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 at the end. Who about the duration? You want me what? No. You want me to keep laying and keep poking me? <laughs> he's throwing his ass to the left. Be a single right. response. But you it, can make it as fun as you want it to be. You can. If you're tired of it, get into a relationship. Give somebody a chance. Know what you like. If you find that type of person, do it. Yeah. So, so the next one is spend more time with your family and friends. Surround yourself with supportive people will help you feel happy. And when I mean like, okay, don't you single you and you broke up from a bad relationship. Don't show to get yourself away from people. I tend to do that. Yeah. Go around your loved one. Go around your friends. Go out with your girlfriends and make yourself happy. And I'm glad I got the good girlfriends that I do have. Well, you, you know, that's the tip, tip, tip that's always with me. And I'm gonna get shot at my bitch. That's my boo. She always tell me, like, sis, come on, I can't have you in the house. You gotta come on out. Let's go enjoy ourselves. You need a drink. And she always gets me out of the house. Oh, my cousin, you know, y'all know Nurse Betty. <laughs> Shout out to Quetta. You know, she always would tell me too to come out and have drinks and stuff like that. Don't be. I mean, because you gotta get out the house. Stuff like that. Yeah. You gotta mingle. You gotta really know who's yeah. talking to you because you can't keep trusting the internet to meet up with people. Them filters is a motherfucker. The lies people tell, the life that is like they live in when they're really not, it's easy to get down the internet. So when you're actually out and about and someone approaches you, you can look somebody directly in the eyes when they're talking to you. You can feel out how they talk to you, how they respond, because you can tell when some people bluff. Yeah, that's why I say. And you can really feel the energy, like, you know, I'm going to give you up my number. And don't nobody want to be depressed. So number. get your ass up off that business mm -hmm. or fellas, because sometimes y'all can get depressed too. Um, go out and mingle, go meet somebody, go have fun. I didn't say go jump into another relationship. It's called go and spread your life. You're a single now. So don't be at home and depressing and joining yourself with a big bottle of Hennessy. Tequila, Patron. No. Go out and get dressed, smell good, look good, and go have some fun with some family or some friends or just go out and party. So we move to the next one. Okay. Stay fit 
and build a happy lifestyle. Try doing Zumba, yoga, workout, walking, or running. It's nothing wrong with um, keeping your body up. Because sometimes we sit, when we get depressed. Sometimes. Sometimes or all the time. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Sometimes or all the time, we get depressed. We sit home. We be depressed and we eat. We eat. Or we don't eat. So we don't eat. So it's At either it's, it was either you getting skinny or it's either you getting too fucking fat. You know place. when I'm depressed, I eat so I gain weight. So y'all can tell I'm depressed now because I'm 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 back. You work it down. I'm back to done. like I'm going back to my old size. Like and I'm I'm loving the weight loss. When I say I'm loving the weight loss and it's amazing just changing the way I eat. I still drink my wine, but I drink a gallon of water a day. I do my steps every other day. Steps is, is, is like a workout program. You're just working out, you know, just just keeping yourself fit. Like I'm, I'm trying not to think about the stress that I'm going well, through. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I, I like to work out. I like to keep myself fit. And I oh, be, yeah, yeah, and I I be getting workout. a little mad. Not mad, but I be tripping when certain women walk up to me and try to talk to me or introduce themselves. Mm-hmm. And they be saying little stuff like I said earlier about getting mad when I turn them down or just let them know I'm not interested. I mean, if you can see that I work out or that I care about what I got going on, and so does this woman or that man or that man. And if you coming over there and you look malnourished or you got a little too much on one side and you get the other side, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, what made you think that, you know, that person was interested? But then when you open your eyes and you really walk around and you see what's going on, you see, you know, dang, how he get her, or how she get him, or how they end up together. Because yeah. somebody took that jump, or somebody shot that jump, or somebody took the chance to say something to that other person, and it worked. That's right. the only way you're going to find out. Okay. Everything can't be done on you know, Facebook Messenger and shit. Everything right? no. can't be done through these apps on the internet. No. You got to get out and meet people. Pretty much. So I'm going to try to move through these quickly as yeah. possible. Focus on your career. The harder you work for something, the greater happiness you will feel when you finally achieve it. Stay focused on your dream. Me, that's what I'm trying to do now because, like I said, you know, I went through a, a, a breakup eight months ago. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a situation ship. I'm going to call it a situation ship. And I'm not saying that it stopped me from doing something, but some things kind of tend to knock you off your focus. So now that I'm back on my focus, I got my radio show back popping. We are um, about to get getting new music going. Oh, We're, um, we're, we're doing this. I'm still trying to do my web reality. Like, I got so much I think I need to get done and also focus on my son that I had to learn to put myself first instead of keep putting everybody's needs and wants and not myself. So now I'm focusing yeah, back on my career. That's the whole back right there. Yeah, about to get back open up my beauty ball. My job is back opening Tuesday. So it's like I'm back to my focus point. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because no shade, no tea. I was I kind of lost it a few months, but now it's okay. We all go through our little, our little bad spells and now i'm out of that bad spell i'm right now i'm just about this money i'm gonna get everything going and keep me to push him anything you want to say real quickly for that uh i just want to say man y'all want luscious tv another episode knocked down six knocked years down. six years i learned something or understand <laughs> what we were saying earlier especially about being comfortable being single and not letting someone cuff bluff you into being in a relationship that's you pretty, <laughs> pretty much um <laughs> Y'all know what we got going on, man. Uh, Club Seduction every week. We're not done. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You just, <laughs> no, you just did a whole product. Uh, no, I mean, because now, like, you was, you was saying. No, 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 no. This, no Club I, Seduction this weekend, I was going to make it involved with the topic. Lots of single ladies <laughs> come through this club. With Club Seduction. I'm you can say it towards Lots of head. single women come through this club. No, I, I say this. I was talking about this all weekend. But we still on sex test, and I'm trying to get out of here because we got to get ready to get out of here. All right, all right, all right. We, about to, we need to get out. I need to get y'all out of here. Ahead, I don't want y'all have my fun too. Y'all think I'm about to get ready to sit here and keep it on your face and your place? I was just talking about you single uh-uh. women. No, you can talk about that single woman on your intro, I mean, on your outro, when <laughs> you about to get ready to get the fuck up out of here. Right, Let cool, me get through cool. these sex tips real quick, real quick, real quick. Cool. All right. So, all right. So, we said that. Okay, okay. Because I want to make sure we made it. Okay. Let me see. Ignore. Uh, media direction of happy couples. Hmm. One of the main reasons why people are not happy and bitter when they are single is because of social media. You want to say what I'm saying? Okay, so the idea uh, of needing to be in a relationship um, is unable to be happy. And let me let me just explain this real quick because um, sometimes social media can make shit look 
what it seems not Bad. to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bad. And you still have some good relationships because you still got some social media like, oh, we post all good relationships, marriage with children and everything else. Yeah, sometimes that kind of make a woman feel kind of a little depressed. Maybe a man because they want a relationship, they want a wife, they want children. Don't let that discourage you from anything. Don't let that make you depressed, okay? Or stop you from seeing somebody. Go out and meet people, like I said, get out the house. Get out the house. People. So you can get your wife or your husband, y'all have children, y'all get married, y'all built this wonderful life and careers and everything together. Get out the house. Get out the house. That's the first step. And Be get off of social media. Be seen. Get off of social media. Social media will fuck your life up, period. It up. Okay? Next one. Step out of your comfort zone. Why not try to do things you have never done before? Depends on what those things are. Step out of your comfort zone and do some things that you've never done before. If you a bitch that wears flip flops all day, don't never even wear a pair of pants, bitch. Wear a pair of pants. <laughs> but if you that bitch, you never even wore some red lipstick or a blonde. But let me say, a blonde wig will make you feel like you a whole nother motherfucking bitch. Put that blonde. Y'all been wearing this shit for years, so you see, <laughs> this bitch bring out the beauty. Guy, she brings out motherfuckers. Sometimes Marilyn Monroe. I be Marilyn Monroe. I'm telling you, it brings out different curses every different way. All my bitches got names. Do you understand? All Let right. me tell you. All right. Do something different. Stop out that comfort zone. Okay. All right. Achieve independence. You should also realize the good idea is to choose to spend more time to love yourself. Nothing wrong with loving yourself. We already said that. Mm. Enjoy your freedom. When you are single, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. Did you not hear what I said that came out of my mouth? You are free to do whatever, whatever you, want. you want. Whatever you want. What's that word you call the people? The, not the clock pop. What is those people you call them? Who are you talking about? Oh, he's so fucking high. Diamond, what he call them people that's clock blocking? Oh, cuff blocking. C cuff blocking. Whatever cuff, that, what he say? Cuff bluffing. 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 That word. <laughs> Cuff, like you want cuff. Yeah. Yeah, but cuff blood. Yeah. <laughs> we explained that earlier in the show. Bro. I know. So at the end of the day, if you are single ladies, stop letting these niggas, that's not even your niggas, not even our niggas no more. Cuff Period. Wow, stop telling us what to do. Can't tell us what to do no more. Do a lot want. of women really be wanting Period. to date, but they getting comfortable. They scared to date uh, because they so scared with the ex got to say or what the other nigga got to say or what another nigga got to say. No, listen, if you are single, you are starting to do the fuck you want, when you want, how you want. Stop being selfish, niggas and bitches. Stop being selfish. Stop. Sometimes a pussy be good, man. Stop. <laughs> it could be. It could be. I understand. Trust me. I know. That dick be all up in y'all. Yeah, but I don't do that. Y'all be all up in your feet. I don't do all that. All up in your phone. I don't do all that. All up in your part. All right, look at your window. I don't do all that. I ain't got the time of the day where you do all that. Who the fuck is about to give me waste their time doing that? Girls. These women. Not like just kisses. These women. Not even women. women. Girls. 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 Just like boys. It's right. boys and girls. We ain't no wrong. We're grown. We ain't no women and men ain't doing no shit like that. I give you that. Women and men ain't doing no shit like that. Grown grown people are not doing no that. shit like that. Children. Little boy and little girl. I don't give a fuck how old you is. You boys and girls. I give you that. You niggas and bitches. Y'all. Those are the ones. <laughs> Period. Okay, I ain't about to give you all that. Nobody give you all that. Me, absolutely, absolutely not. not. Absolutely not. So, like I said, when you are single, I'm gonna say it again. You have the freedom to do whatever you wanna fucking do. Period. Pull. And we move to the next one, right? Right. Pull. Yeah. Pull. She's you know, making pull. it very clear that you don't have to answer to nobody. No, you don't have to answer nobody when you see me. Why do you have to answer somebody if you're single? If you're if you're in a relationship with something different, I don't mind answering if it's my man. If it's my man, you ain't even say boyfriend. If it's my man or my husband, I don't have I mean I, I don't have a problem doing it. It's my priority to do those things. If I'm single, why do I gotta answer to a boy? Or why do I gotta answer to anybody if I'm not with you? Right. Why could you fucking me? You right. want nobody else to fuck me? You want nobody else to talk to me? Bluff. Fuck out of here. Me falling spaghetti. Next. Bluff. Start a new hobby. While you're free <laughs> of responsibilities of a relationship, <laughs> try to start a new hobby. Choose to do something different that will surely surely challenge you. Just do something different. Find something else to do. You know me. Um, I like to make stuff. I like to make clothes. I like to make my furniture. You're I very, like to very handsome. I am very handsome. Definitely handsome. I like to 
decorate houses. I like to do parties. I like to draw. I like to find something else. I like to do different things, like to keep my mind occupied and do something different. Try some new ladies. Start a wig line. Do eyelashes. Um, but I don't know. Start a toy line. I don't fucking know. Just do something different. Um, and next one. Appreciate life. Appreciate life. Be thankful and stop complaining. Please stop complaining. That's a that's a good one. I had to learn it. I had to learn it to myself too. Okay, ladies, I had to learn it to myself. But stop complaining. Good. You will never really get what you want until you are thankful for what you have. Ladies, sense. we need to stop going on social media and stop complaining. I had to learn. I had to learn to stop posting memes about stuff. I hate when people always say something about stop. the whole race. Oh, it ain't no black, no good black guys, ain't no good black men. I, I never say that. Boys buying houses, they married, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know what because there's still good, good men out there, and I believe that there's still good men out there. Man. And I pray that God sends me a good man. Uh, I be a whatever he want and build for me. I'm I'm still waiting for that. I believe that it's so good, good man out there. I honestly, I can tell myself you need to start complaining about this, 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 and this, and this, and that. Or what a man ain't doing. Or you maybe because the last nigga or the nigga before that or the nigga after that, they have done this, done this. So you expect every nigga to be like, no, no. Stop complaining, sis. And please stop complaining on social media. Stop whining, please, please. I, I'm, just, I'm telling myself the same thing that I'm telling you. So I'm talking to us, okay? We need to stop complaining. Period. They gotta step it up too, though. Cause one, what, what one won't do, the next one will. And then they, like he said, you gotta step your shit up too, step sis. Up too. Step your cookies up, sis, before they crumble. They already <laughs> crumble. <laughs> last one, last one. Recognize the importances of perfect timing. Timing is everything, and most especially in a relationship. Listen, don't rush it. If it's meant to be, it will be. It will truly, 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 truly happen if it's meant to be. Timing is everything. If you want to say, like me, I'm on my biological clock right now. And I'm sitting there because I got baby fever, like a bad <laughs> baby fever. And it's like, mm, mm, mm. but my timing is coming because I feel like when God's willing to ready to give me a husband or give me more children or give me this or give me that, he will. So timing. the timing is everything. Be patient. A lot of people don't have patience for things. You got to learn to have patience. Patience is the key to life. You have to be patient. Even if you had that red light, you're like, come on, man. Come on, this red light. Come on. I need to go. I got shit I got to do. Then next thing you know, you're an accident. No, be patient. <laughs> be patient. Be patient. Oh, because the been. devil is watching you. Like the devil is watching. Oh, bitch, you think you about to get ready to get somewhere? Bitch, I got you. Boom. Boom. There you go. You're in an accident. Now you ain't. You can't go nowhere. <laughs> you going to the hospital, bitch. Patience is the key to life. Please tell them when they can find you or whatever you got going on so we can get the hell out of here. At Ricky Gambini on Instagram, R I C K E Y. Gambini has an I, not an O. I'm not Gambino. Uh, live girl only. Gambini. Gambino. Gambino. Uh, Club Seduction each and every one, uh, each and every weekend. Uh, we also do things on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Pull up and holler at us, man. 6820 Eastern Avenue. Uh, also, find me every Sunday. I want Russell's TV. Hey. You know, this is where we at right now. Hey. What we're going to keep doing. And um, hey. all you single motherfuckers, man, don't be ashamed of that shit. Live your life, man. That was it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That was actually longer than usual. It was? Yeah. Shit, I said it was? That was actually longer no. than usual. Oh, let me try to see if I can try. Because you know the ladies on my show, these are, these are red. And they should be rhyming and all kind of oh, shit. No, and no I'm the only one that ain't got no punchline. I'm the only one around. I, I ain't got no outro. I'll say something. Yeah, I drove next to this and they outro. Stay safe. Y'all hit it up. Something like that. Or oh, the intros and outros used to be real good. And I just be saying the same shit. You used to be in the mirror practicing that shit at night. And let me think of something nice to say. All right. Let me see if I can think of something nice. Uh, well, my uh, name is like uh, you say, I'm uh, the best. Yeah. And all the boys, they want. Uh, they feel my breath. Yeah. But you can't, can't. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all guys can follow me on my new Instagram at Luscious Kisses One. I was about to say Luscious Kisses West. Uh, y'all know I've been doing it of 126k followers. I'm still trying to get this page back. I'm gonna fuck about the people, but Dang. I'm gonna try and get that page back. You know that page was a nitty kitty all the motherfucking way. Pain and agony until uh, she had to go through. I that. know, and you saying because it was the day of my birthday. The day of my birthday. I was dead. I was crying. I was crying. Literally. Y'all tried the hoes, but that's okay. Y'all keep watching. I'm keep sucking and shining on all of you hoes and niggas that keep hating on these. You see that? All on that.
Anyway, Twitter, up, Luscious Kisses One. Um, my fan page, Luscious Kisses, that's on Facebook. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you listen to Diamond Keep saying, tell them to subscribe, 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 subscribe. You have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's uh, interviews, plenty of interviews. Is Booty bouncer videos. I have booty bouncer. Yes, that's booty bouncer. It's a couple of booty bouncers. My music videos, Lady of Charm City is on there. Uh, I'm still uploading. I still have a lot of stuff that I'm still trying to upload. I'm now now start to upload my blogs on there, my own little personal things that I'm doing, my own little self because I like talking mm. to you guys. And this is like my personal stuff. It's like personal so it has nothing to do with me talking about sex. It's just, you know. Anywho. So yeah, make sure y'all go to my YouTube channel. That's Luscious Kisses. Even a back shoulder, even anything that I'm on it is definitely on my YouTube channel. Um, stay tuned. We are shooting next Sunday. Um, Money Make Me Come video. Okay. So I'm excited about <laughs> that video. I waited. Okay. I waited for this moment. Okay. Yes, I am shooting that video. It's gonna be really, 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 really scrumptious. Today I did like a little promo. Um. A promo photo shoot for that, so stay tuned for that. We'll also have my mixtape that we're working on. I'm gonna be dropping two. It's, two. Called? it's called a Diary of a Porn Star Two. Um, I'm still in the current. I'm still writing Dope. both of the books. Um, I do have a love, sex, and relationship book. Um, under I'm a luscious TV, and I also have a Diary of a Porn Star that which is that. Currently, also gonna be working on the web documentary of that. So it's a lot of things we're working on. We're re uh re written um. Rent right, so we're gonna be um, bringing that back out too soon. So it's a lot of things that we are um, working on. So I definitely will keep you guys updated every Sunday Very much so. of everything. And next week's sex topic, we are definitely going to be because I had to push the the money, sex, and power because I'm not ready for that yet. But I'm definitely going to push. It's a lot. It's a lot that goes into that. It's definitely it's definitely because I really want that to be a good, 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 good topic for him because. You know, this is like me talking to a male this time as we were talking to women. So I have to make sure that that show is going to be Liddy Kitty because I want to make sure that we are uh, like, you know, yeah. But next a lot, week, a lot come with that. So yeah. it's going to be a good conversation regardless. Yeah. So next week, sex time, we're all going to be talking about condoms versus raw sex. So we're going to be talking about that. <laughs> it's a lot to discuss about that. So that's what, guys, <laughs> you've been kissed by Luscious Kisses. Mm-hmm. Hey, wow, Tune in every Sunday at 11. I'm trying to get these guys get on time. <laughs> at 11. At 11. See, he came at the same time 11 last week. We don't keep saying that. I didn't know. That's your dick. You're a diamond. Diamond came a little bit after you came at 11. Yes. Okay, live. Okay. okay. So, anyway, listen. Oh, guys. <laughs> So you make kids about luscious kids. So make sure you tune in every Sunday live on ReadyOnFire.com. I am Luscious Kids, it's your host. And I'm Ricky Gambi, the live girl. <laughs> he is the now new co-host of my radio show. You make sure you check us out, and we will be posting and keeping y'all guys updates on everything. And we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Stay live. <laughs>